guys, it's Huff and Ebony. It looks like she has been attacked by a wild animal, but she survived. Shot out of a, I was shot out of a robot. She was shot out of a robot, but she has survived, so that's all good. Okay, we are here today with, well, what we would normally be calling our Red Pawpaw unboxing. However, it's not called Red Pawpaw anymore. It is actually called Just Launched. They have changed it up. They have um, basically increased how much you end up paying um, because now they charge you shipping again, depending on where you actually live, how much you actually pay, which was how Red Paw Paw was originally. But they are now focusing more on products that have just been released or just been launched rather than things that are tried and true. I don't know whether that is the case with this particular box. This is actually the first one. And clearly they had some boxes to use up from Red Paw Paw before they did that. So inside we have a little uh, pamphlet thing for a anti-aging eye cream, which would be cool if there's one in there because I literally only have about this much left in one container and I don't have any other eye creams. Um, there is also a Shake Up Breakfast Healthy Delicious 99% Sugar Free um, Flyer thing. There may well be one of those in here as well. As always, there is, oh, 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 I see something coming, um, as always there is a magazine because it is now owned by a magazine company. Um, this one actually comes with a bonus magazine on the back and also um, a gift wrap kit for Christmas which has cards and different bits of paper in it. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is the Better Homes and Gardens magazine. I honestly haven't really read any of the magazines that I get in here, so, okay. So, the first thing, oh, this is cool. Um, the first thing is from the Chia Co. Um, these are little, okay. Inside, there are samples of the Chia Shot and I think the Chia Bite samples, which is interesting. Um, I eat chia seeds because I basically eat no carbs um, and it's one way to get really good fiber. So in here there are um, two little packets which they call chia shots, which if I'm guessing right, yeah, they're eight grams, so I think that's around about a tablespoon in our measurements which is about what I would put on like a salad. There's one black and there's one white. Currently eating black Rice. ones. I know it's just what they are. And the other thing is a Be Natural Chia Exotic Berry Bites Bar which has got chia seeds mixed with oats, tahini, cranberries, goji berries and cocoa. It doesn't actually tell me the kind of things that I actually want to know, um, like how much carbohydrate it actually has, but I'm going to try it anyway because um, it's only a small amount. It is very uh, dark in colour. Very dark. And very oh, it looks sticky. So squishy. It is kind of squishy. Ah, it's stuck from a finger. Mmm. That's really good. It has a really weird taste to it. That might be the tahini. Okay, I like that it. That tastes really good. It does taste ridiculously good. Um, it's probably got far too much carbohydrate for my actual diet in, be careful, in um, a whole one, but I don't actually have the information here to actually tell me. Um, they've also given us a recipe for how to make um, chia kiwi popsicles. Nice. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Ebony went to grab for this before. Um, probably because she's going to try and steal it. This is from Nut Via. It has a hazelnut spread with sweeteners plus breadsticks. It doesn't have sugar. They're actually using um, 
a not um, that kind of sugar. Uh, let me see. It has no palm oil. They have used stevia and erythritol, which are both um, sweeteners that are actually fine for people who are keto, which is what I am. I'm going to open this. It has OMG. It has these little stick things, and then it has the little chocolate, which is basically Nutella, but not Nutella. And one of the others is like heard Nutella and his ears have perked up. But afterwards, Ebony will share some of that with him anyway. Because yeah. she's a good girl. Don't you laugh <laughs> at me. Next, from BioGlan, which is the thing that there was one of the advertisements for, is the Probiotic Breakfast Smoothie. It has probiotics, oats, chia, fiber, and plant protein. This is in the blueberry muffin flavor. Um, this will not be something I will actually try myself. Puff and fat, it contains gluten, which is something I avoid. The carbohydrates in this are more than my daily intake on a normal day. Um, but I'm sure somebody in the house will try it out and see what it is like. Presumably not. Um, I'm thinking more one of your brothers. We also have, these are not new, these are old, we've had these before, but in different, probably in different flavours. These are from Sipa. These are basically straws that are filled with um, little balls of flavouring and you suck milk through them. Kind of like if you are going to have a Nesquik, but without having to mix it into your milk, it just comes in these sippery things. So we have Okie Dokie Cookies and Cream and Cocoa Bean Chocolate and there are four of each in these containers and as you saw Ebony do the yes thing, she's actually quite excited about those. Maybe because they get really good. There are also two more of these BioGlan breakfast smoothies. We have an apple cinnamon and a vanilla flavoured one. So somebody is sure to enjoy those. Oh, and we have one more, which is chocolate flavoured, because you've got to have the chocolate flavoured one. Or else you'll be fine. Cool. Um, the Elucent Anti-Aging Eye Cream is also in here, which I was hoping for with the little coupon -y thing, the little pamphlet-y thing. Um, this looks like it is made overseas, like in Hong Kong or something. It's got lots of Asian writing on the side of it. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, hmm, mild and temporary tingling may occur. That's probably from the AHAs in it, so that's, that's actually kind of normal. We have two of these Nutrigrain to go soft baked breakfast bars. These are the king size ones. Uh, these are both in banana nut. And I am going to have a little try of these. Bananas are nuts. And so are shrimp, because they think, they think that bananas are the best thing. Maybe because we go them a lot. They basically look like a big, just like cake bar type thing. They look a little dry. It tastes like sponge cake to a certain degree. Dry sponge cake. Mm. I can't really taste the banana in it. No, it seems like they put cinnamon in it and the cinnamon is just completely obliterating all the other flavours. I'm sure you'll pick them up off the floor. Yeah, I can't see that they've put cinnamon in it, but that is actually what it tastes like. It actually tastes like cinnamon. It doesn't taste like banana, even though there are apparently banana pieces in here. Um, not my favourite, and you would need to drink a lot after having one of these, because they are super duper dry. 
Um, I'm sure somebody will eat them and be perfectly happy. God damn it, Ron. Hey, I'm leaving them for last. Um, next we have the Farmer's Pick Dark Chocolate Raspberry Cashew Gourmet Bars. Um, Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> no, not Gordon Ramsay. Gourmet. So they have roasted cashews and almonds, pumpkin seeds, dark chocolate and raspberry. Again, we're going to just try one of these. Somebody else will... I just get to try them and everybody else will eat them. Um, again, they're that very, very high in um, sugar and stuff. So health, yeah? Yeah, I know. You like that kind of stuff. I am a junkie. Lots and lots of honey. Mm. I'm pretty sure they've got lots and lots of honey. They're very sweet. Um, okay, so the second ingredient in this is glucose. So basically just straight sugar is the second ingredient. Um, they're super duper sweet. My taste buds uh, don't do sweet particularly well anymore, so... Um, they're a little surprised right at this moment. And the last thing is something I'm really sad about because I freaking love popcorn, but I'm not going to be able to eat very much of this. Can I have them then? Of course, after I've had a taste. Um, these are the Red Rock Deli popcorn with maple, butter, and sea salt flavor. So these will not be like super duper sweet, probably. Um, but that sort of salty sweet thing, which I actually really like. Salty and sweet like Nana. Oh, wait, she ain't sweet. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. The yellow, uh, sort of like a creamy color. Nice. Mm. Maple's not my favorite flavor. Like maple syrup's not my favorite flavor. But that's mainly because it's from Canada. But that's not bad. That's not terrible at all. Um. I'm sure Ebony will enjoy herself for the next hour eating that bag. More like <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> so that was everything that was in our Red Paw Paw just launched, whatever you want to call it, box for this. Um, um, I think it's also going to be quarterly now, like seasonal type of boxes rather than on a more regular basis. So I will leave link information down below if you want to go and check it out. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave us a thumbs up if you like these kind of unboxing, taste test type videos, and leave us a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. And see remember, ya. sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Exactly. See you guys. <laughs>